Hey guys, this is Inka, and in this video, I will only be eating green colored foods for 24 hours. I haven't done one of these colored food challenges in a while, but I am very excited to get back into it. I've definitely done some pretty bizarre colors in the past, like blue and clear. So green relatively doesn't sound as crazy. Even in our daily lives, we see a lot of naturally green colored foods. So I do think that in this challenge, I will be eating a lot more. As per usual, I will be making my meals from scratch using only foods that are naturally colored green. I have a feeling that today is mostly going to be a lot of experimentation and trying to combine as many green things as possible. We shall see. All right. Let's get cooking. Good morning. I have changed into the only thing I have that is green. Let me show you guys what ingredients I have to work with for breakfast. I have some super greens, which are really just a bunch of leafy greens. I had to buy one of these because it's just such like a classic green food. I also have some kale and spinach in my fridge. I usually just buy them anyways. I found these really cool tortillas. This one is made with spinach and herbs. It's this like beautiful green color. Honeydew, kiwi, avocado, green grapes, Granny Smith apple, and a pear. I also got this green salsa that I think would go really well with the tortilla wrap that I'm planning on making. For those of you who have been watching a lot of these colored food challenges, you know how much I love fruit. So I am very, very happy that I got to find so many different kinds of fruit under the color green. As you guys can see, there are a lot of ingredients here. This is going to be a very nutritious breakfast. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a breakfast smoothie. I'm gonna cut up some fruit and I'm gonna have a wrap. Let's get started with the smoothie since that's one of my favorite things to have. I already washed these fruits so I'm just going to chop up this pear. Start off by putting in some pear. Apples, avocado. Also gonna add in a squeeze of lime. One or two grapes. This is getting really full. Some spinach. Now to blend it up. Look at how green this is. I love it. Now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna work on our tortilla wrap. This is what it looks like. It is fairly green. Big avocado right in the middle. A little bit of lime. Adding a little bit of this sauce. Super greens. And now we're gonna try and wrap it. All right. I just need to cut my kiwi up, but then I am ready to plate everything up. And here it is. First meal of the day, my very green breakfast. Look at how good this looks. There's my green grapes, the kiwi, the honeydew, and I cut up the wrap so you can see the insides. It is super, super green. Then over here, of course, I have my green smoothie. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love how creamy this smoothie looks because of the avocado. But this wrap, you guys, it is literally filled to the brim with green stuff. I say green food challenge, but honestly, this is, this is more like 24 hours of eating eating really healthy. I am very ready to tuck in. I'm gonna start by taking a sip of this smoothie. I love this consistency. It's like a milkshake. There is that very, very subtle sweetness of the pear, and there's a little bit of tartness from the Granny Smith apple, but mostly I just taste the avocado. This for sure is something that I would most likely be drinking every day if I could. Next up are my fruits, honeydew. Can't go wrong with that. And there's my green kiwi. Look at how green that is. I love kiwis. Wow, this kiwi is super sweet. I should put it in the smoothie. Some classic green grapes, so I love it. I love being able to eat so much fruit on this challenge. I've been holding this off because I was so excited about it. My wrap, I'm gonna take a big bite. It's a very clean taste. This is such a great way to have a light breakfast, but it can still keep you full until lunch. Green Foods Day is going fairly well so far. Breakfast was such a delight to have. I was able to have a lot of things that I normally really love. So I am actually really looking forward to the rest of the day. I'm going to continue sipping at my smoothie as I work at my desk and I will check back in when it's lunchtime. It is lunchtime and I am pretty excited. I have been waiting the past couple hours since breakfast because there's so much to work with. I think lunch is gonna be pretty amazing. Even just by looking at what I have here, you guys can see that there's a lot of green going on. I have a little bit of okra here, zucchini, lime, green bell pepper, cilantro. This is green tea noodles. FYI, this is the packaging for it. You can see that it's made from green tea. 
which is pretty awesome as somebody who really likes green tea. The flavor actually doesn't stand out too much, but it comes out this beautiful green. There's bok choy, which has always been a staple for me growing up. And then over here, I just have some scallion, a jalapeno. A few of these items will be used more for garnishing purposes. And then over here, I actually have some leftovers that I ordered yesterday. This is a Thai green curry from one of my favorite restaurants here in New York. The restaurant is called Fish Cheeks. This is one of my favorite curries from them. I already kind of poked at it yesterday, but there's some cauliflower in here still. I think some snap peas and a bit of okra, which all qualify, so I kept them in here. And then this is Morning Glory, which is another one of the vegetables that I grew up eating a lot. Their stem is hollow, so they have like a crunchier texture, which is really nice. So I was thinking I would add this on top of the noodles. Last but not least, I have this really special seafood sauce. And the reason it's such a vibrant green usually is because for this one, I know they used Thai bird's eye chili, and then there's also cilantro in here, some lime, garlic, and of course some fish sauce. This is magical. There's so so much flavor packed into it, so I wanted to just also add a little bit to this dish. I really just like how this looks. So much green. Since I already have my green curry here, which is going to act as my noodle broth, I am going to get started with cutting the vegetables and also cooking the noodles. First step should be to wash the vegetables. All washed and ready. Just to keep to the theme, I'm actually going to only use the green bits here instead of the white parts. All my veggies are now prepped. Add the noodles in. Can you guys see that it is like a darker green than like a vibrant green? This is definitely a greener color now that the flour has been washed away. So I'm gonna rinse this really quickly. Now I can start working on the soup broth. For the rest of today, I am just gonna be using avocado oil since it just seems appropriate because Avocado, green. <laughs> Gently fry up some of these vegetables. Add in the green curry. Ooh, toss in my okra, also the bok choy. And now I'm just going to let it simmer and let the vegetables soften a little. Then it's pretty much done. Lunch should be ready. All right, it is done and it is super, super packed with vegetables. Look at this. Oh my goodness. There's at least 10 different types of vegetables in here. I love how this turned out because there's like lighter shades, darker shades, and there's like a good combination of like flavors. It's just very healthy at the same time. It looks really delicious. Let me just drizzle on the sauce for that final finish. Just a little glug glug. I can smell it from here. There's a lot of spice. I mean, there's a lot of green chili in this. <laughs> Excited! I'm gonna pair this meal with this green juice I bought yesterday. It has a bunch of stuff in there. Pure greens, it says. Very, very green meal today. Let's do a green noodle pool. I'm like already salivating just looking at it. Here we go. Oh yeah, tastes like normal noodles with the added benefits of green tea, I guess. I also love cilantro. I think it adds so much to every type of sauce, broth, etc. Goes great with noodles. Here's that morning glory. When you bite into it, it just has like, like big crunch. Also, the green peppers have now become a lighter green. They're super soft and tender now. Ooh, the bok choy. Zucchinis, they've like completely soaked up that green curry flavor. Oh man, this is really good. Not sure if I should be eating the entire slice here. I'm just gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Time for some juice. They weren't kidding when they said purely just vegetables because there's no added sweetness in this at all. Only the natural sweetness of whatever vegetables in here and there's not a lot of that. Very, very healthy. You know how sometimes things just taste super healthy? This is one of those. Instead of just going straight to salads, there's so many other ways we can cook vegetables. I feel like I could eat a whole bowl of vegetables cooked in this broth. I am very, very happy with this dish. I think I got to eat a lot of vegetables. Very satisfied. I am now gonna go back to work, see if there's anything else I need to get for dinner. I will see you guys then. Hello, hello. It is a little early for dinner right now, 
but I went shopping earlier and I found this. I had to buy this because I feel like the ones we usually see are made with spinach and this one actually comes in the form of lasagna sheets. I am very excited to cook with this so let's check out the ingredients. First off we have our green lentil lasagna and then I have some asparagus, some spinach. I also have some store-bought pesto here, tomatillos. These are actually most commonly used in salsa verde, which is again, a beautiful green. It has more of a tangy flavor. Brussels sprouts, our zucchini again, some fresh basil and some fresh oregano. And then I also have this really special sauce, a type of ramp sauce made by my friend Eric. Ramps are also known as wild leeks and it's probably the most similar to green onions, but I feel like they have an even more pungent flavor, which I really like. So I'm planning on utilizing this too. Once more, you can see that we have a lot of ingredients to work with. There's a lot of green on here. So I'm going to figure out how to use each of them one by one, starting with roasting some vegetables. Give that a good toss. Now I'm going to pop it in the oven. All right, so my vegetables have been roasted and over here I already cut up my tomatillos. Basically what I'm gonna try and do is just combine these vegetables together to make a sauce of sorts that can go with the pesto. It is an interesting blend of sauces. Normally I would never cook my pesto, but for this one I am trying to wing it. I'm calling it lasagna because it's based on the concept of lasagna, but whether it is actually lasagna is debatable. This is what I have. It is, you know, it definitely looks a little bit interesting. A lot more gooey than I wanted it to be. I am just going to go with this and assemble my lasagna now. Maybe I shouldn't have aimed for lasagna after all, but I really want to see if I can make it happen. So I am just going to keep going. The first things first, I'm gonna put a layer of this sauce, put some spinach on here. Check out my lasagna sheets. It is definitely a greenish yellow color. It's actually kind of pretty. I'm gonna layer that on. Add on the sauce again. Add my zucchini in here. Basil. Just trying to see what would work together. Going to put on some of the pesto, which is a super vibrant green. Can't forget my sauce. Just streaks of it. This is definitely one of my wildest experiments. Last thing is just to sprinkle on some of that asparagus. This is my uh, green lasagna, super, super green. I'm gonna put this in the oven. It shouldn't have to cook too long and hopefully it's gonna turn out good. Also while I'm waiting, I'm just snacking on a little bit of green pea crisps. They actually look like green peas, which I think is super cute and they're super crunchy. It's a perfect light snack to have before dinner. This actually does taste like green peas, so I guess that's one way of getting your vegetables in. So I just pulled it out of the oven and it doesn't look so green anymore. You can still see the asparagus and the zucchini, which I threw in. I'm just going to add some basil back in. And yeah, that's it. I guess this is my garden lasagna of sorts. I'm gonna try and cut a slice and then plate it up for our meal. This is what dinner looks like. There's a lot of layers going on here. What I basically did was stack two on top of each other. It does kind of look like a lasagna though, right? And there's no cheese, but you do get like the creaminess of that tomatillo sauce we made. Still smells like pesto. Then I have my green tea here. It's a very faint green. I definitely took a lot of liberty with this one. I am super curious to know how it tastes. Ooh, okay, I can cut it. Cross section looks okay. I see the layers there. The green lentil pasta is surprisingly good. You do get some of that green lentil flavor, but the texture of it is so much like regular lasagna sheets, which is very surprising because I'm so used to it being more brittle. In terms of the sauce, I think I'm just very confused because there's so many flavors going on, but I do feel like one of the dominating flavors is the tomatillo sauce we made. Green tea is always nice. Overall, I think it's not bad. I don't think I'd be making it again. I do think that I overwhelmed this a little bit by trying to combine too many green sauces. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and wrap up what's left over. And then since there's still some time in the day, 
I am actually going to make a dessert later. A dessert that I'm really looking forward to, so I hope you are too. It is finally the end of day, and that means that it is time for dessert. And knowing that I'm doing green foods challenge, that means I'm gonna be using this opportunity to eat as much matcha as I possibly can. I am a bit of a matcha fanatic. I love anything green tea slash matcha flavored. So I thought for dessert, it would be really fun if I made a super extra over the top matcha parfait. I basically sourced as many matcha products as I can, as well as making some of my own using the matcha powder I have at home. So then I can build a very, very green, very matcha-y, glorious parfait. Let me show you how much matcha products I have right now. Look at all the stuff I have over here. Matcha granola, matcha wafer cookies, matcha cake, matcha chocolate. I made some matcha syrup, matcha whipped cream. And then I also made some matcha jelly. I also have my green tea ice cream. Then I actually have this green rice. You heard that right, this is actually green rice. Look at this color, isn't that so cool? So the reason it has this green color is because the rice has been infused with bamboo extract. Well, I had no idea this existed until I was sourcing for green things and I found this. So with that being said, it's going to be a pretty epic parfait. First thing I'm gonna do is actually toast these green rice bits a little bit so then I can make them essentially into little rice puffs. They have turned a little brown now. They've lost a little bit of their green color, but now they're just like toasty little Rice Krispies, which I think will be a really nice little surprise in the parfait. I am now ready to assemble my merry matcha parfait. I'm gonna start off with some of my whipped cream, granola, add a little bit of ice cream, some of this jelly, put some more cream, Sprinkle my rice puffs in here. I'm gonna add these little snacks, which I've cut up. Some more cream, that's good. Just gonna add a big scoop of ice cream. I'm also cutting up my cake. Um, I totally trimmed off the brown bits, so then everything that's left is just green. Off to the sides. Matcha chocolate right here. Finishing it off with a drizzle of matcha. Here it is. This is my glorious matcha parfait. It actually looks pretty good, right? You can see all the layers in there. There's like at least nine to 10 things in here. This might be the best dessert I've made yet. I am so excited to eat this. This looks so good. I would totally buy this. I don't have a parfait spoon, so I'm just using my wooden spoon here. I'm gonna have a bite of my ice cream first. So good, so matcha. Oh, I have a scoop of a lot of things in here. I got the jelly, got the wafers, Got my crispy rice, which actually goes with the matcha so well because of that toasty flavor. If you love matcha, I think you would love this. I think it's safe to say that I had a lot of fun this challenge. I really truly enjoyed every single meal. I think dinner was the only one that was a little like interesting, but I'm really glad I'm ending today on a very green, very matcha parfait, and I'm looking forward to my next color food challenge. I will see you guys then. Bye.